lecture 6.4, our last lecture of this particular model, module, sorry, is looking at the triple bottom line and corporate responsibility. So last lecture we looked at um, steady state economy as an alternate mode for um, economic model for achieving sustainability. In this particular lecture, we're going to look at something a little less um, extreme, perhaps, and a little bit more of what companies, particularly, are doing now in order to work towards sustainability. And there are some correlations between this and steady state economics, just so you know. Um, a lot of companies who are working with a triple bottom line philosophy believe that they do not need to continue to increase their economic wealth. Um, they just need to make enough to do the things that they need to do. So we are going to look at what is corporate social responsibility, what is the triple bottom line, what's a B Corp, and then by the end of the lecture, in, a different, in addition to being able to define these, I also want you to be able to know how you can identify companies that are B Corps so that if you want to um, support them or work for them, etc., you know how to find them. So three new terms um, is corporate social responsibility, triple bottom line, and B Corp. So just as a refresher, Sustainable development that we've been talking about all semester is growth that meets economic, social, and environmental needs without compromising the future of the economic, social, or environmental systems. Um, so what, um, what we're looking at today is from a corporate side how can corporations achieve sustainable development? So how can they meet economic goals, social goals, and environmental goals? And a lot of you have probably heard of this term of corporate social responsibility. Um, corporate social responsibility is self-regulation. It's when a company decides that um, as a company, they are gonna do better to develop initiatives within their company that, um, balance their economic goals with social and environmental sustainability. When a company is engaged in corporate social responsibility, they're going beyond what's legally required of them. So they're going beyond the laws and the regulations, and they are engaged in initiatives um, that of their own choosing, um, that they regulate, that they monitor um, in order to meet economic goals, social goals, and environmental goals. Corporate responsibility, CSR, is a really broad umbrella concept that um, many, many, many different activities would fall under. One of the mechanisms or the um, ways or activities, I don't really know how to phrase it, that falls under corporate social responsibility for most companies um, is this concept of the triple bottom line. And this is a um, an approach or a strategy that companies will use in order to help them meet corporate social responsibility goals um, and put it in um, sort of a framework for them. So the triple bottom line was developed by an environmental management strategist. So somebody who worked within the corporate world on um, environmental um, strategies. His name was John Elkington and he wrote a book that was called Cannibals with Forks. And that book was where this term, the triple bottom line was first coined. Um, the triple bottom line essentially is sustainability for the business world. Um, it came out of a realization that um, businesses needed to figure out a way to still be businesses, but not have the negative impacts that they were having on society and the environment. Um, it's a management philosophy set that says it's no longer good enough to focus only on the financial bottom line, 
companies must also invest into social and environmental issues, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because it also makes business and financial um, um, sense as well. So, um, as I said, it was coined by John Elkington, the triple bottom line. Um, and the triple bottom line essentially is people, the planet, and profit. And so when a company has said, we are going to work towards achieving the triple bottom line within our company, we are, as a company, looking to ways to make all three of these things important and essential components of our company. We are um, going to meet the needs of people, we are going to respect and honor our planet, but we are also going to find a way to make a profit. So the tr traditional bottom line is the bottom line that all of you learn about in all of your management and marketing classes. In the traditional bottom line, businesses are assumed to be in business because they want to maximize their profit. Profit has for several centuries been the dominant traditional way that we measure whether or not a business is successful. Um, it's very closely linked to business value. So if a company is traded on the public um, stock market, if it is making profit, it is often worth more. If it's not making profit, it's often worth less. And in the traditional business world, people are incentivized for how much profit they are making for their company. Um, so that's the bottom line, profit and what we are making. Within companies that adopt a triple bottom line, they are saying there is more to business success than just profit. And, and if I am a company that has adopted a triple, triple bottom line approach, basically I am saying that the success of um, my business is, yes, based on some uh, element of financial um, performance, but also how I'm performing socially and how I'm performing environmentally. So triple bottom line accounting um, expands the traditional what we report as um, in our financial reports. So in a traditional business approach, you have, um, you report your income, you report your expenses, you report your profit. All of these are reported in various different financial reports um, in order to determine how you're doing as a company. In triple bottom line ac accounting, you expand that and you report on in addition to your financial performance, how you're doing environmentally and how you're doing socially. And rather than being solely responsible to our shareholders, which in the traditional world are the people who have invested financial money into our company, if, if I'm a triple bottom line company, I am responsible to my stakeholders. My stakeholders are the people who make my products. They're the people who use my products. They are the animals that are... Um, affected by um, whose ecosystems are on habitats are affected. Um, they're the people who um, live in the region where my products are made. Those are all part of the stakeholders of my company and who I am responsible to. So in a very, very narrow sense, triple bottom line is a framework that we use to measure and report corporate performance against economic, social, and environmental parameters, and it's a move away from this very one-dimensional economic reporting to three-dimensional economic reporting looking at people, planet, and profit. Um, so, you know, profit, we know what this is. It's familiar to managers. Um, it's what's reported through an income statement um, regularly throughout the year. It's a very reliable figure and it still gets reported as part of the triple bottom line accounting. Um, our planet reporting, we are measuring how, how much of an impact we are having on the environment. How many emissions um, are being um, generated? How much water have we used? How much pollution have we created? How many trees have we cut down? Um, 
It's more difficult to measure compared to profit, but we do have triple bottom line accounting mechanisms and tools out there that allow us to do this fairly reasonably and allow us to compare across businesses. And then the third wheel of all of this is people. And this is where we measure the extent to which our business is being socially responsible. The extent to which we are um, meeting human needs and um, increasing the well-being of people. This one is harder to calculate. It's harder to report consistently and reliably because everybody has different ideas of what should and how it should be reported. Um, but um, it's, it's um, we're getting a little bit better in terms of how we are doing that. The benefits of the triple bottom line. Well, it encourages you as a business to think beyond just profit. So we've looked at why profit isn't going to be sustainable as our key um, indicator. Um, and we need to think of then, well, what do we need to do instead? Um, triple bottom line is a way to report corporate social responsibility initiatives in sort of a tight framework. And of course, it supports overall sustainability goals. So these are all valuable things about the triple bottom line. Um, criticisms of it, though, is a lot of companies say it's really not overly useful for measuring how we are performing as a business. Um, it's hard to reliably and consistently measure things like the impact we're having on people and the impact we're having on the planet. And currently, it's not legally required. So um, the incentive to do this is not always there. But that's sort of the general gist of what is the triple bottom line. And then finally, I just want to make you aware of what are B Corps, if you have not already heard of it. Now, if you've taken some management classes before, um, chances are you might be aware of B Corps. Um, but I just want you to pause for a minute, watch the short little video um, that is hyperlinked to this um, image here um, that talks a little bit about what a B Corp is. So obviously B Corps are companies that are engaged in corporate social responsibility and are following the triple bottom line policies. Now they might not necessarily be um, considering themselves triple bottom line companies, but that's essentially what they're doing. So to end this particular lecture and to end this module actually, um, before you take the quiz, um, I want you to go back to the B Corp website that you were just at. So the video that you just watched is hyperlinked um, to the website or is connected to the website that talks all about what B Corps are. I want you to answer three questions and email the responses to me. I want you to, to tell me in your own words after exploring the website, what are B Corps? Um, then I want you to look at how do you become a B Corp? What are the requirements? What is the process? So that if you have your own business and you wanted to be a B Corp, what would you have to do? And then I want you to find three B Corp companies on that website that you um, are interested in and that you would be interested in working for. And those ones you just have to list. These are the three companies that are B Corps and that I'd be interested in. So go ahead, do all that, explore the website, answer those questions, email them to me. Um, at that point, your lectures are done for the week and you just need to wrap up with your quiz.